Hey guys, Much Games here, and hey today everyone. I'm joined by Brent. And third time's the charm, right? I hope so. Today's been a very terrible day when it came to streaming. Something went wrong with my internet recorder. Then when we switched recorders, basically the mic got shut off. So now we're back for a third time, and hopefully this one will be good. Because, uh, yeah, otherwise that just sucks. That really sucks. Yeah, there we go, I can hear myself now. Oh man, this has just been a really bad day for streaming. It really has been. But uh, hey, we're still giving away that uh, $20 gift card to uh, the eShop, so... And we're going to be extending this by quite a bit more, wouldn't you say? Just so we can make Probably. up for it. We're just going to have fun with you guys. Or at least attempt to. Yep. So, as apology for this and for everyone hanging around, I'll throw in an extra $10 gift card. So there's going to be two prizes, one for the $20 gift card and one for the $10 gift card. So hopefully you guys enjoy that. What was that question again, bro? We're discussing the secret Krabby Patty formula on the first Sunday in January. After we've gargled vanilla pudding, what do we do? We're discussing the secret pet. The secret Krabby Patty formula. On the third front, third the first, the first Sunday in January, I think it was. Day in January. Uh, hold on, HF. We have to uh, back out to see it. If we're discussing the secret crab patty formula on the first Sunday of January, after we've gargled vanilla pudding, what do we do? Dang it. Jigglypuff's sing attack is ridiculous. Gargled. The no putting what are we, uh, check the uh, ID for uh, HF. Yeah, I might just sit out this next game just so we can get everything set uh, up. Go to the, uh, pull yourself to the Yeah, that's one. Arena settings, L, Y, for what? Can you type that down? Why type your question? Sure. I gotta join the new stream, hold on. Right. Here's the question for the $20 gift card. Guard, best answer will win it. So if you leave before the stream's over, you can basically, uh, uh, Put your answer and then Brent will choose it, then we'll figure out how to contact you through that later. Just check back. I'll put it on the community setting. Just so you know, if your answer isn't good, you know, then we'll just find another way. Gotta be, yep. a, good, gotta be, a, gotta good be a good answer. Oh, did you post it? I'm writing. Okay. Sir will win. If we are discussing the secret crab patty formula on the first Sunday of January after we gargled vanilla pudding, what do we do? I don't remember if that was the exact question on the episode, but it was something along those lines. We put our own much spin on it. Wait, communication? Hi. Right. So there we go. HF put communication I was like, oh crap, no! Alright. Gonna put some uh, bloody tears? Of course. Much better. Uh, do you still want to play Snake or do you want to change it up? I'm good. Because you're up. Me. You're up. Okay. Um, Not a lot of good things came with Castlevania 2 Simon's Quest. This is one of them. This is one of them. Alright, so uh, since we basically got lagged out last time when we were talking about it. And then we got Mike, Mike muted. Uh, the lag wasn't bad, right? I don't think so. Cool. We'll check stream quality before we start over what we were talking about. Cool. So uh, what we were talking about here was uh, the gift that I got Brent for Christmas. 
for him to use on the channel someday. Hylian shields and a master I'm sword. I'm afraid to hold this. Oh, it comes with the stuff to hook up to it. Oh, sweet. Yeah, so you can actually use it for shields. Though I can tell you we're going to need to make some modifications to make it better for our application. Made in China, huh? Yep. Of course it was. So hey, got you a metal one instead of plastic. Yeah, that's good. Does it actually cut? And if it's sharp. I was going to say, we can find out. That's really cool. They got they got it, like, all the fine details down. It's even got the, uh, the Triforce right here, close to the hilt. Yeah. Uh, it does need a couple of paint touch-ups, though. But I figure those are just so minor. Yeah. Maybe they, they probably can't see it from this distance. But no, this is really cool, man. Thank you. Yep. You're welcome. And what Brent got me was uh, the Mega Man 2... Uh, Legacy cartridge collection for the 30th anniversary. Mega Man 2 is one of my favorite Mega Mans, so that's very exciting. I love having clean box stuff. Is it one of your favorite Mega Mans or your favorite Mega Man? I haven't played them all yet, so. How many have you played? I know I had you try the first one. No, over. four. I've tried four of them. One, two, three, and um, X. X. Yeah. Am I putting these over there? Yeah. Just so I don't have to hold this like an idiot the whole time. Oh no, that's the fun of it. So what we were talking, should we get back to what we were talking about last stream when, when the uh, mic got muted? First, I just want to bring up this topic. So uh, what we're doing here with uh, the shield and stuff is, I told them, I got you an awesome gift that you got to use on the channel one of these days. When we find a, a good reason to use it. So uh, if you yeah. guys have any ideas for a Smash Bros. or Zelda video... Let us know, especially as Zelda grinds my games. Oh yeah, we have not done one of those yet, have we? We we want more Zelda on the uh, on the channel, and I think we're gonna start with that when we're done with this live stream. Yeah, though we'll do less of it today than hoped, but yeah. uh, eh. yeah, it is what it is, you know. So uh, is HF gonna well, join the waiting area? The, or? the other thing, though, aside from using that in the video, when they took the tumor out of you, did you get it back in a jar? No. We were going to use that in a video. How cool would that have been? I will just paint I, a little ball and say it is. I had nice. I had plans for it. We were going to put it in a jar. Oh, I'm glad you have plans for my pain. Yes. We were okay. going to put it in a jar, paint an eyeball on it, and it was going to be Mother Brain. Oh, that would be funny. For a video. But nope. Okay, You're Haven, up. are you coming? Wait, do they still have your tumor in the lab? There we go. Do they still have your uh, tumor in the lab? It's all clear, benign, everything. Yeah, 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 that, that's great and all, but do they still have it? No, it's gone. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> okay, uh, I was going to type something else there, but uh, let's get back to the live chat here. All right, so should we get back to our topic when we were muted? Yeah. All right, we were talking about... Best games of yeah, the year. Yeah, just basically 2018. Just a review of it. A re our personal thoughts. You know, this isn't fact or anything like that. If you well, have a mine's a fact. His if, is a thought. If you have a different opinion than us, don't get mad. I hate that I have to preface this, but whatever. It's 2018. Uh, we're big Nintendo fans, obviously. So, we'll just start with them, because we figure we have the most to say about them. And we both agree this was a down year when compared to 2017. Basically they blew everything last year to get hype built up for the Switch and for the first three quarters of this year they did not have much to yes. show. I would say it's even worse than first three quarters. I would say it's just straight up first 11 and a half months. So, you know, For me the year started getting good with Pokemon Let's Go which was middle to late November. Yeah, but still, they, they started up in October, although subpar, like, with uh, Super Mario Party and Starlink. Yeah. Though I did enjoy like, Starlink. Yeah, but I'm just talking about Nintendo games. Well, I mean, Starlink was Ubisoft. We're talking about yeah. console games in yeah. general. We can't not do it because that had, like, the Switch exclusive part of it, so that's why I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. this conversation. Because, come on, how many people actually got the uh, Xbox my, or the PS4 versions of the game? My, my thing about it is, like, when I, when I talk Nintendo... I mean, not just this time, I do it just generally. This is just me when I have... When I talk Nintendo, I'm always thinking of Nintendo games, not necessarily the third parties. Well, like when, I said, when you factor in the third parties this year on the Switch, it doesn't get a whole lot better. It gets a little bit better, but not a whole lot. Yeah, but that's the reason I'm only including Starlink in there, 
Yeah. Well, and I would include Octopath Traveler as well since that was a Switch exclusive. Yeah. Though I haven't played it, but I heard that was a great RPG. I heard a lot of great things about it when it first came out. But, but you it don't seemed, hear much it about like, it now. It seemed like a month after, just silence. Like, oh hey, that was a thing that happened. But, um, okay, let's go a little bit more in depth. Uh, first complaint, and yes, this is a complaint. Too many ports. Yes. Way too many ports. This this felt like a Wii U year, just with all the ports. All right, let's start off. Uh, Bayonetta 1 and 2, Bayonetta 2 being a Wii U game, but Bayonetta 1 was 360 and PS3, which also came to the Wii U. Yep. Then we had Tropical Freeze and Hyrule Warriors. Both of those games I'd recommend if you didn't play them on the Wii U or if you just straight up didn't own a Wii U. Uh, great games. I think Tropical Freeze is one of the best platformers. Uh, I think it's the best platformer ever made. 2D platformer. Uh, Hyrule Warriors, great action game. But again, it's just a port. Like, I, I played those games already. You know, it's nothing yep. new. Then Captain Toad. And Tropical Freeze was overpriced. They, they sold Tropical Freeze on the Switch for 60 bucks. When it came out on the Wii U, it was 40 So somehow it gained... I thought it was 50 Oh, it might have been 50 It might have, actually. Or, it, no, it was 50 on the Switch. and It was $10 more, whatever it was. All right. Whatever. Point is that they charged you more for Tropical Freeze on the Switch than they did for Tropical Freeze on the Wii U. As good as that game is, it did not increase in value somehow because you had Funky Kong in there for a glorified easy mode. All right, and so I think that was it for the ports. Uh, no, there's more ports than that, but that's all. We're but I mean, we have more coming out. Uh, yeah. Super new, new Super Mario Bros. U is coming to the Switch. I lost. I, I don't know how you can call it new when it's a port. But shout out to Conquer Sixty Four, apparently. Okay. There's your shout out. Yeah. So thank you for joining us, Conquer Sixty Four, and thank for playing with us, HF Gamer. HF is a haven here. Now let's talk about the new games from Nintendo. From just let's start from Nintendo first, then we can get into third parties. New games from Nintendo this year. Uh, the year started off with Kirby Star Allies. Kirby Star Allies. I thought that was a decent game, but the problem is it was generic. It was just like literally every other Kirby game over the past I don't know six, seven, eight years. So but that's why it's a bit of a letdown because it's like what's what's the difference? Like, haven't we played this? But I did like it better than Epic Yarn because oh, that yeah. one you can yeah. actually die. Yeah, Epic Yarn, you know, not terrible, not not a terrible concept. But there's but no challenge. Yeah, there's no challenge. I mean, the the only thing I thought Epic Yarn had going for it was the art style. But you know, getting a little bit off topic. Yep. But okay, yeah, Kirby Star Allies. Not a big fan. Not a bad game. Certainly not great. Nothing to be like, oh look, Star Allies. Not a must own, I guess is what we'll say. After Star Allies, that was March, we had Nintendo Labo. Yeah, but I will say one more thing about Star Allies. I appreciate it because it gave me a good uh, start on the year for subscriber-wise. Sure, yeah. Because I came off the year with... Oh, look at that lag. Yep. With Odyssey going, but that's not our end. We yeah. can tell if it's our end because it'll say, like, lone bandwidth there. And we can even hear it right here. Odyssey going, but See? that's not our end. Anyway. Moving on to Labo. Yep. So, what, uh, what do you think about Labo? Since you're the only wait, one. Wait, let me uh, finish off with. Uh, oh, I thought you were done. Yeah, they gave me I a really that was good a period, boost, not especially. A comma. Well, it's because the lag. Yeah, point, yeah, uh, yeah. You interrupted me there. Look at oh. me. Yep. So uh, what happened there was uh, the highness slow down cutscene. That was a great way to do it. Like that brought in a lot of viewers and some new subscribers. So that's one thing that I liked about the game. And also that Game Boy level at the end was pretty. Nice yeah, surprise. that was that was fine, but nothing to sell the console with. Yeah. All right, on to Labo. You're the only one here that bought Labo, so take it away. I'll let you start. Uh, for Labo, I thought there were some really good aspects for it, but also some pretty bad aspects. The uh, bad part is uh, we should just put it on random so we just go back and forth, you know? Yeah, let's do it. And we'll just see whoever's the best character we'll switch. But uh, for Labo, I thought... Uh, there was some cool like gimmick stuff on it that made it somewhat fun, such as the piano motorcycle, and the best part is the Toy Con Garage where you can actually code all the games. One thing that Nintendo's been doing recently is releasing uh, games that other people have coded, and guess what all those games tend to be? One, two Switch games. 
you can literally make the entire 1-2-Switch game, for the most part, on Nintendo Labo. 1-2-Switch is barely a game. Yeah. I was saying, you don't even look at the TV when you play it. That's yeah, what I'm saying. No, so yeah. That shows you how bare bones that game is, and that game is still like $50. Can you believe that? The Nintendo tax. My thoughts on Labo as an outsider. Oh, Robin, I haven't played him in this game, but I played him a little bit in 4. You I'll, got I'll him. take him. Uh, my thoughts on Labo as an outsider. I'm a believer in the concept. You know, I think you can do some cool, fun things. The games aren't there yet. Yeah, well, the gameplay. Like, you know, the, the motorcycle racing, that could be fun. Have you tried Mario Kart 8 with it? it? No. You can play with it. Even then, that doesn't sound good. Yeah. I think uh, it'd be a lot better with the vehicle kit, too, because you got the racing wheel versus the motorcycle. Yeah, the vehicle kit, to me, looks... It actually looks decent, but not enough to warrant a buy yeah. from me. Like me, I actually enjoy the piano the most out of the Labo kit. Because it's just fascinating, it's cool. But uh, the problem with it is, they break right on the octave. So that's terrible for most of the songs I want to play. I wish they had a few more keys. So you could like blend the octaves instead of break them. So I, th I think Nintendo believed in Labo a little too much. But it, there was just, like, no ambition to it. And so, it just didn't seem worth it to me. I was like, yeah, okay, that was a thing. Uh, okay, next. What was the next new Nintendo game after Labo? And uh, just a little segue here. Uh, just remember to uh, write down your answer for the question to get the $20 gift card. It's written in the chat here. The whole SpongeBob question that he came up with. I'm letting Brent choose the winner, so... Make sure to at least write down an answer if you want a chance at winning it. I'm tired of playing on this stage. Have you noticed we play on the stage almost Well, that's because of this Toon Link Pac-Man person. Go away! Just kidding. Yep. Wait. What was the next new Nintendo game after Labo? It felt like there was a long drought. Uh, Aces, I think. Oh, yeah, 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 Aces. Because the drought was filled with the ports. Bayonetta yeah. 1 and 2 plus, uh... Tropical Freeze came out, and then came out Aces. Oh, and Sushi Striker. Sushi Striker and Aces. Sushi Striker, I thought was a decent game. It was not worth the price whatsoever. I made sure to wait till it dropped to 20 bucks. I think it's worth about 10, 15 dollars. The game play itself is pretty fun when you're playing against a friend, um, and even the computer sometimes, but the story mode drug on way too long. Like, I was surprised at how long the story was. But, I enjoyed it. Would I play it again? As verse mode? Yes. Story mode? No. Alright, your thoughts on Aces? Aces is the weirdest game to me, really. It's, it's both extremes. You could say it's one of the best Switch games. You could say it's one of the worst Switch games. And I think both opinions are valid. Because, like, it, what it nails, it nails. Like, 100% nails. What it misses, it misses. Like, 100% misses. The gameplay is phenomenal. Best in the, of the Mario Tennis series. I'm a big Mario Tennis fan, too. So, the, I thought the gameplay was absolutely great. Being able to build up meter, use it to pinpoint shots, use it for defensive purposes, whatever. Yeah, you know, it was real fun. You know, you had to be strategic in how you handled it, and it was that—that that was great. Everything else was nothing. The story mode was disappointing to say the least. Uh, no cutscenes or anything like that. It, no, the presentation was off. The music was just whatever. The the. The tennis courts were hit and miss. There's like no dedicated mini game mode. You had less characters on the roster than you did in the original Mario Tennis 64. Uh, the original Mario Tennis was or, a virtual. Board. But yeah, 64 is where it took off. Is what yeah. I mean. I mean that's like... that's kind of been remedied with free updates, but it's like, well, what was the point if, in releasing it in March if you were just gonna, you know, add stuff later? Like, give us a full game at least. Pretty much fill up the void, same with arms, you know? Yeah. So, yeah, Ace is, again, a big disappointment. I was really hyped for it. It's not a bad game. I still play it every now and then. But it sh could have and should have been much better than what we ended up getting. It's still better than Ultra Smash. Yes. But it's kind of hard to be worse. 
I'm sure they can find a way. <laughs> I'll give them an idea. Okay, uh, next Octopath Traveler. I did not get a chance to play that. Neither did I. I heard fantastic things though, but you don't really hear much about it nowadays, so... Will it hold up? Who knows? Dang it. Uh, Pro Controller. Okay, uh, did you play the Xenoblade 2 Chronicles DLC? I've played it, I haven't beaten it. Thoughts on but, it? But, um, Xenoblade 2, one of my favorite Switch <laughs> games. A pig. The, uh, the DLC, I think, so far I really enjoy it. I just haven't gotten around to really putting a lot of time into it. But I think it's great. The uh, Mario and Rabbids Kingdom Battle DLC, Donkey Kong Adventure, fantastic. Give it up, fantastic. I love it. Rabbid Cranky Kong, Donkey Kong, Rabbid Peach on their own adventure. First of all, Rabbid Cranky Kong is the best thing to happen to video games since the inception of video games. He is just a screaming riot, oh, and I love him. You ain't gonna shock. Nope. This is gonna be fun. Yeah. I guess now that brings us into the back half, which is where stuff gets in. Unless I missed something, doesn't that bring us to uh, Starlink? Uh, I think so, it, uh, our party was first, I think. Yeah, yeah, okay, we'll do Super Mario Party first. Uh, best Mario Party game since 2007. Not a good Mario Party game. Correction. Oh, like, I, I thought it was it. a good Mario Party game, not the best uh, one. Okay. There was stuff lacking for sure. What it, what it did right was it went back to the gameplay style that we want. Being able to move your individual characters around the board. The problem was there's, I think, four game boards. Three or four. Do you remember? Yeah, four. four Not okay, enough four, game boards. Four game boards, and they're basic, bare-bones, boring. Like, yep. there's nothing fun about those game boards. They are terrible. Uh, the the river rafting mode. That one I enjoyed, but it's there's, repetitive. There's ten mini games available for that mode. In one playthrough, one group playthrough on the river rafting mode, you play them all. You will probably multiple times repeat mini games. Probably. No, no, you will. That's inexcusable. There should have been at least 40, 30 mini games minimum for that game mode alone. There, there's ten. Really. The problem is their eyes were bigger than their. Uh memory cards or storage spaces. The uh, the one thing I did enjoy about the game were like the other modes, like tabletop baseball. Yeah. And stuff like that. That the stuff tanks. was fine. But you know, they had that in, in Wii Party U on the Wii U. And that's the best Mario Party game since two thousand seven is Wii Party U. And you know, so yeah, just Mario Party again. Just Kill the franchise, just kill it. We don't need another one. You can't do it right. It's like Paper Mario, just stop. Just stop. Alright, moving on to Starlink. Anytime there's Star Fox, I like it. I am a huge Star Fox fan, so I was very hyped for Starlink. It's not a bad game. I think it's repetitive, though. Oh, yeah, super repetitive. See, you're basically doing the same thing. The you know, the entire length of your playthrough. You know, so... You, you play the game for an hour or two hours, and you've seen all it's got to offer. You want to do that for another 20 hours or whatever, however long it is? I don't know how long it is. I haven't beaten it yet. Yeah, uh, that's up to you. The final boss I didn't think was too difficult. The hardest part was this, uh... Oh, no. Oh, sweet. We're still in it. Okay, uh... For the gift card answer, you, uh, pass? Okay, he's passing. I guess he doesn't want the gift card. Yeah, he's passing. Okay. <laughs> Predictable answer. Predictable. You must do better, sir. Alright, so I guess after Starlink, that brings us up to the meat and potatoes of this year for Nintendo. Pokemon Let's Go. Oh, Little Mac. That's not us. Whoever's playing Little Mac. Good luck, sir. Yoshi. What am I talking oh. about? We're not any good at this game. Three. Well, I got a winner there. Yoshi is really good in this game. I just don't have any practice with him. Mitchell plays Yoshi. Question. Yeah. 
So Pokemon, let's go. What are your thoughts? <laughs> yeah, I know it's the uh, one from there. We're just messing with you about your brownie points. Oh, that guy again. Yeah. No, he didn't bring up brownie points. We're just joking with him about it. But yeah, he did do the exact quote from it because we, we uh, uh, pass. Yep. Yep. So again, your thoughts on Pokemon Let's yeah. Go. You're, you're more oh, my, keen to talk about it than me. I haven't beaten it yet. I have not beaten it either. I'm in the rock tunnel right now. Granted, I've played Pokemon Gen 1, so I know where this is going, I think. Yeah. But uh, ultimately, I like it. There's some... Oh, one thing I don't like is how easy it is to get shinies. I don't like that there's no trainer battles. Or not... No, no, no. Wild, wild, wild battles. battles. Wild battles. But they did do a lot right with Pokemon Let's Go. Yeah. Such as, I love how there's no more, like, random encounters yes. I can see in. That, that's a big thing for me. Huge plus. That might be controversial. I don't know. But um, random encounters, screw them. I hope in the don't future want. they'll give you the option for how do you catch the Pokemon. Like, I don't want to always do this throw thing from now on. Yeah. Like, I have fun with that, but sometimes, you know, you just want to push a button. Yeah. And it's annoying when the Pokemon run away. Like, imagine getting a shiny Mewtwo like that one streamer, and then it... I leaves. saw that Fire Dragon, I think it was. Oh, that must have been so painful. But yeah, uh, for HF there, uh, just make sure it's something other than the episode. For the uh, question for the uh, quote. Because that is a good answer. But you gotta make sure it's... It's also predictable. Yeah. I am not good with the ocean. Hey, you're still in it. You just gotta beat Ice Climbers to stay in. Pull Tristan, go after Ice Climbers. Forget about Link. Ground Pound. Better than I thought you would with Yoshi. I like a little Max already dead. Oh, you have a chance of winning now. Yeah, see, isn't this so much better with the one-on-one? Uh, -on -one? I mean, doing the random. Because then it's like you get fun playing as each character. Yes, HF, we know that's what the dialogue is. We just want you to say something else. We want a real answer, sir. Okay, uh... Yeah, so I do like how there's both uh, your rival and Gary makes visits in there as well. For the uh, game. Got a little sidetrack there. Yep. Back on. Um, okay. Yeah, look, looks just like yours now, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. So Pokemon Let's Go, you know, good game. Another Gen 1 re-release. It's new, but not a whole lot new, I guess you could say. That brings us into the, the whole reason to own a Switch this year. Smash Ultimate. Bros. I have some controversial thoughts about this, but we'll start with the positives. I have the most fun with this Smash game than I do any other Smash oh, game. Looks like we lost Haven in the, uh... I don't see him anywhere there. Good day, sir. So, yeah, I have more fun with this Smash than I do any other And Smash hello, game. Yogi S. Welcome to the chat. I love the character roster. What do you think about that? Uh, the character oh. roster is great. Uh, the stages, I was... I wish they brought back everything if they're only going to add five more. Are you going to warrior? Four more. more. Not really. There's only four. I thought there was five. Uh, Odyssey, stay, uh, New Donk City, Splatoon, uh, Splatoon, Breath of the Wild, Tower, whatever it's called, and Dracula's Castle. Enough. Unless, unless you want to count the new battlefield and the new Final Destination, then we're at six. But I mean, no. Wait, say it I, again. I don't think uh, Splatoon, New yeah. Donk City, Great Plateau Tower, Dracula's Castle. Oh wow. That's it. Unless I'm missing one, and I don't think I am. Uh. Again, roster. I really like it. I'm beyond elated. Wait, where am I? Oh, there I am. You're so big. How could you not see yourself? Is that a fat joke? No. Well, yes, but no. I don't want to get kicked off YouTube. 
I, I love the roster. I'm elated that we finally have King K. Rule. I know a lot of people are elated over Ridley. I'm not a Ridley fan, but I think, yes, he absolutely should be in the game. I'm a big Simon Belmont fan. I love Castlevania, in case you couldn't tell by the videos on the channel. So I'm really glad he's here. Um, they made him metal. The person only, who lost, they made metal. Isn't that like an advantage? My only... My only complaint would be, was it really worth bringing back, or not even a complaint question, was it really worth bringing back every character? I mean, Ice Climbers and Snake make sense, yep. but Wolf, Pichu, and Young Link are just variations of other characters. I, I guess Wolf, to a lesser degree, Young Link and Pichu being the biggest proponents of this. Yep. Like, Pichu is literally Worst Pikachu. That should be his name in this game, Worst Pikachu. He does everything Pikachu does, just does it worse. It, Young Link, again, everything Link does. already got does. Toon Link. Yeah, everything Link really, does. Really, what they worse. should have done was made a Young Link and alternate costume of Toon Link. Sure. That would have made sense. So I say, like, you know, bringing back every character, yeah, that's a big deal, but was it really necessary? I mean, I don't and know. And hello, Nobita Nobits. Hopefully I didn't mess up. Welcome to the uh, stream. I don't like the rolled back online features. Bring back For Fun and For Glory. Bring those back. Uh, also, bring us. Party chat for Smash. Yes, and bring back, um... Remember and I'm not talking about using that stupid phone. I'm talking about, like, yes. Bluetooth headsets or something like that. Do you remember in Smash 4 you could spectate and you could gamble yeah. your coins? You can't do that. That's gone. That's Why? Shame. Why is that gone? And then let's get to everyone's fun topic, Spirit Mode. So, ultimately, I thought it was a better way to do a story mode than Subspace Emissary for the Brawl. But... I would rather replay Brawl Subspace Emissary over this one for one reason. Cutscenes. It I'm... made it feel like you were involved in a story. This uh, spirit mode just made it seem like it was an endless amount of fights with no real purpose to it. If they had cutscenes like each time you were going for a new character in a new area, that would have been fun. If the opening cutscene even had voice acting. Yeah. So they could have made the cutscenes, you know, really good in comparison to uh, Subspace. Uh, I'm one of those guys, I think Subspace is a little overrated. I'm not the biggest fan of it. Yeah, I like the cutscenes, but everything else, yeah, you could take it or leave it. Maybe that's just because Brawl doesn't play as fun as, you know, some of the other games. But, um, yeah, I just don't know what to say about it. I, I, I don't really like World of Light. It's not bad by any means, but it's certainly not a slam dunk. Grade A must play single player experience. If you want a grade A single player experience out of a fighting game, buy a NetherRealm Studios game, Mortal Kombat or Injustice. Check where out this next yep. round. Just spectate. Uh, so, yeah. I do like going to the Spirits board, though. Just seeing the Spirits. Why is everyone doing like Young Link and Toon Link? We got three Links. Poor Little Mac. He doesn't stand a chance. Yeah, I like going to the spirit board, seeing what spirits are available, doing, you know, some quick fights, getting the spirits of the characters that I like, and then just, you know, I can go on and play online, or, you know, do story mode, or whatever, it's not story mode, just the regular traditional single player smash, where you go up, fight the characters, and then fight a boss. Yep. So since it doesn't look like we're getting much response for that uh, $20 gift card, then I guess that bonus 10, we won't do it this time. Guess not. Because, uh, yeah. So for those of you guys watching, just remember we do have a question on the live stream that the best answer will win a $20 Switch eShop gift card. I think you can also use that on the Wii U and 3DS gift shops as well. So, uh... Does, does that wrap up our thoughts on Smash? Or is, yeah, is there anything so. else? You know, uh, I, th I think it's wait, a great... Wait, let's uh, get the question in first and then we'll go back to Smash. So uh, say the question again, what it is. It's in we're the chat. We're discussing the secret Kyrie Patty formula on the first Sunday in January. After we've gargled vanilla pudding, what do we do? Say it in English. We're discussing the secret Krabby Patty formula on the first Sunday in January. After we have gargled vanilla pudding. What do we what do we do? Don't move. Oh. I, I think you <laughs> just I think you just won a twenty dollar eShop card with that answer, sir. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, yeah. yeah, so that wraps up my thoughts on Smash. What about yours? You know, again, I have more fun playing this Smash than I do any other Smash, just because it's got more characters that I like. Yeah. 
Uh, again, I, I hope the DLC is good, but based on the first character, which I'm indifferent to, and some of the rumors we've heard about a potential... An another potential character that might be coming down the pipeline. DLC looks like crap! But I, oh I my goodness. Wait, wait, you gotta see this answer here. Oh, sorry, go on. I was just gonna say, I, I hope the rumor for this... I'm not gonna give it away in case it's true, and it might be. I'm not gonna give away who the character is, but I, I'm gonna be very angry if that's the character, because it's a stupid pick, and it's a total shill. Okay, uh... First off, hi, Gibran, Les, Le Prince de Colleen's... Sorry for butchering your name, as well as Tygo Kid. I love his answer, ready? Well, C, you have to give a victory screech while serving Bubble Bass a double, triple, bossy deluxe on a raft, 4x4 animal style, extra shingles with a uh, shimmy and a squeeze, light axe Actually, of grease, make, make it, it cry, cry, burn it, it and, and let, let it swim. swim. This can only be done on Leaf Erickson Day while being in an anti sea bear circle wearing your anti sea rhinoceros undergarments. I'm gonna say this. You guys want to win the twenty dollars eShop card? You got you got your work cut out for you. That is going to be so pretty think, tough think, to be right I there. I think we have our current number one. And we will say this: if someone can top Tygo Kid, then Tygo Kid can do a second answer after that. But that's going to be pretty hard to beat. Magic Conch Shell. Did Tygo Kid just win a twenty dollars eShop card? We'll find out. Ooh. Ooh. So, yep, I guess that's our thoughts on Smash. We'll see about the DLC. I'm not going to judge anything prematurely, just judging by some of the rumors we have heard online and in our own little inner circles. But yeah, you know, we'll see. All I want is Gino. He really wants Banjo. And you, Sora, but Banjo's if, my number one. If Banjo's competition is Minecraft Steve, he's been rumored as well. I'm consider be me, so Consider sad. me so solidly team banjo a character i'm pretty indifferent to but consider me solidly team banjo if, if it's one or the other good the god the keep, sad thing is keep steve out of smash i can see steve getting in because of it's how so much money i can make so uh can you want to play as chrome i don't care for chrome i hate anime i hate fire Emblem for the character i love the game don't get me wrong but we're oh, not, wait, that's the other game that came out this year, Fire Emblem Warriors, right? Oh, yeah. No, no, that was last year. Oh, was it Hyrule Warriors this year? Yeah. We talked about that. But it's okay. better than Hyrule War It's better than Fire Emblem Warriors. So let's talk then about the... Uh... I, had, I had one more thing I was oh, going to say about sorry. just about Nintendo. Um, one thing keeping Nintendo alive are the indies. Yes. Uh, oh, wait, what good indies came out this year? There's Celeste, uh... Celeste, I think. Didn't Celeste come out late last year? No, it was March this okay. year. Okay. Um, Celeste, really good platformer. I got Hollow Knight. it. I like it. Hollow Knight, yeah, that's an older game, but it did make its way to the Switch this year. Another great Metroidvania. Um, my favorite one, one I've recently got back into, and I'm going to probably beat it sometime soon, is The Messenger. Oh, crap, I felt. For those of you who haven't heard about The Messenger, it's a action platformer, kind of like Ninja Gaiden. You play as a ninja, and, um... It's it's a mishmash of gaming ideas. It starts off in eight as an 8-bit 2D platformer, and when you get to a certain point in the story, they incorporate time travel. And you time tra when you time travel and go into the future, the game goes from 8-bit to 16-bit. And so it changes up, you know, you can go back in the areas that you played in 8-bit and they'll be in 16-bit. And the music has been upgraded from 8-bit music to 16-bit music and stuff like that. Not only that, the first half of the game, side-scrolling platformer. Second half of the game, Metroidvania. All the, all the stages that you played as, as a platformer, they kind of merge together. And you explore them like you would a Metroidvania game. And so it's just a really unique idea. I want to do it on the, oh. on the channel someday. Don't know if it'll be anytime soon, but, you know, it's a great game. Probably, definitely my favorite indie game this year. Yeah, I know I Mitchell's is Celeste. Yeah, Celeste is really good. Oh, triple kill! Nice. Oh my goodness. They are probably oh. pissed at that one. That was just something quick I had to say right there. But um, did you want to get onto the industry as a whole or talk uh, about next play, company PlayStation? PlayStation. 
great year for them. Yeah, absolutely great. They kicked it off with... The, the good thing about them is they had... There wasn't too many new games for them, but they yeah. had it well-spaced. They also had a, a very good third-party uh, edition this year. Maybe multiple, but the one I have in my mind I just want to talk about real quick came out in January of this year. Late January, Monster Hunter World, which is currently the best-selling game in Capcom's history made by Capcom. I mean, that's a tall order right there when you consider all the games Capcom makes between Mega Man, Devil May Cry, Street Fighter. There's a ton more that I'm forgetting about, but those three come to mind immediately. Marvel vs. Capcom. So, Monster Hunter World. My favorite Monster Hunter, no doubt. He just recently got it, so maybe you'll see some some of it on the channel at some point. I also just got Rocket League. Probably be seeing that too. Oh, definitely. We're gonna stream that for sure. Come on, y'all. Uh -oh. Why were you cheering for them? Uh, yeah, but yeah, Tyler. Okay, we really did like your answer. The the big release for Sony this year, the winner of this year's Game of the Year award, God of War. I played it, and it it changed me. That's all I can say. It changed me. I like how we're doing random with characters that we don't really know how to play as, and we're still staying within the top two for the most part. Yeah, we're doing a good job. Uh, God of War. I'm a fan of the God of War series. I had great expectations. Oh, I'm not good with Lucas. Are you? I can do Lucas. All right. It's basically mess. Yeah, so I had high hopes for God of War this year, and it just... It blew away my high hopes. I mean, as evidenced by winning game of the year. But the way it... Oh, it only works on GameCube controller. Um, the way it presented its story... So by... we're playing a game controller again. Yeah. Probably weird. The way that God of War presented its story by never having the screen fade to black and just seamlessly transitioning into cutscenes. It was just such a simple touch, but it just made a, a big difference when playing it. It felt like an actual, you know, experience, not just a game. The gameplay itself, really good, you know, fluid combat, just a mixture of light attacks and strong attacks, as well as, you know, like some magic attacks thrown in there and stuff like that, but... Yeah. Uh, it was really good. There was a great plot twist at the end that I'm not going to talk about because he hasn't played it yet and he needs to experience it without being spoiled. Spoiler alert. And the longer he takes, the harder that's going to get. So I'd recommend getting to that soon. I gotta do Spider-Man as well. Spider-Man, yep. There, hey, we could... There's a good segue. You know, so God of War, great game, 10 out of 10, blah, 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 blah. Spider-Man. This you, is all you. You haven't played it either. Okay. Spider-Man. No, uh, that's actually what I'm going to start after Let's Go, and then so, God of War. So I call it Spider-Man Arkham, because it plays very similarly to Batman Arkham games. That's a good that, thing. That's, no, that's not a bad thing at all. Um, you know, it's another one of those games It's very oh. similar to God of War in terms of setup. It's a very fluid combat, good story, I mean, it's a typical Spider-Man game. Now, these aren't real in-depth reviews, these are just quick, you know gloss overs if you want a good review go to go to someone else we don't do good reviews no we don't well we do good uh average joe reviews just not in depth and stuff like this that this is just our 2018 year interview so we're glossing over just games that we care about yeah, spider-man great great game the story was great uh the gameplay was fun i really i really liked the boss fights even if they were a little formulaic but I, i'm not too well versed in the uh, Spider-Man lore, and I am. you know this this helped me a little bit seeing some more of those villains. Like I know Doc Ock and Green Goblin and Venom. We well, Mr. Negative is like brand new. Yeah, I, I knew nothing about him. Uh, apparently, uh, they're making a whole comic book series based on uh, the game. Uh, that would make sense. Oh man! Supposedly, this game is like the start of a like Marvel Cinematic game universe as well as the or not cinematic game a marvel gaming universe to that's go along cool. with the marvel cinematic universe that's currently going on that's really cool so it, it was a good you know it was a good game welcome back mr lol there was by they by far set up a sequel 
which I'm anxious for. Same with God of War. God of War perfectly set up a sequel. Those are two games I'm really looking forward to. Probably won't see them till the PS5. Yep. If, I'm assuming the PS5 is coming out in like two years' time, maybe sooner. I realized what the other game was that came out. So did I. I, I, I have one, but... Crash. Crash Bandicoot Insane Trailer. Oh, on the Switch, on the Switch. That's right. Switch. And, I, got, uh, I got it on PS4 when it came out last year. But. Yeah, so on the Switch, that was the mid -game, or midsummer game. Mm -hmm. It's Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy, fantastic, as well as the other trilogy that came out, which is Spyro. That was the one I thought of as well. Good segue, yeah. Crash into Spyro. Um, yeah, crashing into Spyro, nice. Yeah. So, Spyro. I had never played, the, it was just like... My same experience with Crash Bandicoot. I had never played any of the three, the original three Crash Bandicoot games until the Insane Trilogy. I had never played any of the original three Spyro games until the Reignited Trilogy. And I really like them. I've beaten Spyro 1 and 2. I've even gotten the Platinum Trophy for both of them on Wait, PS4. Just want to make sure we didn't forget anything. Uh, and also Diablo 3, I just remember, came out on the Switch. That one's pretty good as well. Right here on oh. top. Overcooked 2. Overcooked 2. That's another one we didn't talk we, about. We haven't played it on the channel yet. Oh, wait, Brent, you got to press the button. You can't ignore that. We haven't played it on the channel yet, but we will. I love Overcooked. Overcooked 2 is fantastic. Much uh, better. Sonic Forces. That was eh. last year. Oh. Still eh. It was last year. It's boring. Don't buy it. It sucks. Um, buy Sonic Mania. Yeah, but Diablo 3, I tried a little bit of it. It's Diablo 3. Very good. I played it on PS4. It's good. I like it. Probably fun to play with friends. Will get, you get do a, a Zelda together. randomizer? I won't. What does that it's mean? Up to you. What it is is it's. Oh wait, that's one where like does the dungeons random, right? Yep. Ah. All, all the chests are random. Mm. So you gotta like go on the overworld and find all the chests. Then after you've done that, you see where you can go and where you can go. You go in there, get as far as you can, see what you have, then you might have to go to a completely different dungeon. You can you get that on a console or no? I don't think so. Okay. I think it's a uh, PC mods. Well, you know, if you can find one for me, we can do a live stream lane play of that. Oh, that would be good. But Mitch will do it. Yeah. That'd be a pretty good one for a lane play, I think, because that'd be pretty lame mode for us. But, uh, sounds pretty fun. I feel like we're missing something from Sony. Uh, Sony, what were their other we big games? We talked about Monster Hunter World, God of War, Spider-Man. Dragon Quest Eleven. Dragon Quest Eleven. yeah, that made its way to PS4 this year. It's been out in Japan for a while. Uh, never played a Dragon Quest game. I decided to give this one a shot. I like it. It's really good. It's just like playing a classic NES or SNES RPG, just with modern amenities. Modern graphics, modern music, cutscenes, voice acting. Full nine yards. Was Battlefront 2 this year? No, that was last year. Okay. Uh, Red Dead 2. Red Dead 2, that's the big yeah, one. Yeah, I got that one. I'm not too far into it. Uh, it came out at a time where other games came out quickly afterwards, so I get sidetracked with other games. But, yeah, I'm still in... I think I'm in Chapter 3. I don't know how many chapters there are. But the first one, you know, it. the first one is highly revered for a reason, and I think the second one is going to get to it, too. It won a bunch of awards at the Game Awards. Some it shouldn't have won. That's just my opinion, though. All right, Fallout 76. <laughs> <laughs> that happened. Yep, that's all you can say about it is that's a thing. I've, I've played one Fallout game. Just like game. Metal Gear Survive. It's a thing. I've played one Fallout game in my life. Uh, Fallout 4. I've done three. I'm not, I bought four, but haven't played it yet. Um... Yeah, so if you guys think many games you want to hear R2 cents on, feel oh. free to comment all, it. All I was going to do is I played one Fallout game and I liked it, so I was somewhat interested in this. Good God, am I glad I didn't pull the trigger. Because, wow, people are just lighting that game up. And it looks like it's well-deserved. Yep. Uh, so, yeah, our thoughts this year. Good year for PlayStation. Down year for Nintendo. Looks like that could turn around for Nintendo. They've got a lot of good games in the pipeline oh, yeah. in 2019. Well, let's talk about Microsoft. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I don't own an Xbox One, so... I own an Xbox One, but really, there's not a lot of what, what did, games. What did Microsoft have come out this year? I don't know of any non-exclusives that came out for them. That's the thing. I, honestly, I can't think of any. I'm sure there's some, if you guys know. Sorry. <laughs> Again, don't have an Xbox I, I One. Think I don't it's know. It's pretty much just like Forza or something. Yeah, it like, like it's, that's not for me. It's either Forza or Halo. 
Uh, no new Halos they this don't, year. Yeah, they don't. That, that's like all they make is Forza and Halo. There probably was a new Forza game. Oh I'm, yeah. I don't know. Yep, it definitely is very buggy, Mr. Smalls, uh, for Fall 76. Yeah. I haven't played it, but I have seen people play it, and good God, I'm glad I don't yeah. play it. Alright, so any other indie games that you're aware of that came out that you liked? Really, The Messenger is the only one that comes to mind. I really like that one. Yeah. Um, like, Celestia, I didn't play it, but Mitchell did on the channel. It looked pretty fantastic. Yeah, no, I, I enjoy Celeste. It's really good. Is it good. Celeste or Celeste? I'm pretty sure it's Celeste. Okay. Yeah, I mean, that that was an indie game. It was a nominee for Game of the Year. Enough, enough said. Like, yeah. it was so, that good. So apparently we do need an emulator for the randomizer. Okay. All right. Well, Mr. LOL, if you have any recommendations for that, feel free to drop a line for uh, where I can find the ones that you want to see, and maybe we'll do it for a lane play one day. So yeah, if, I, if I had to just... Give you a quick rundown. My favorite game, 2018, God of War. Number two, Smash Ultimate. Number three, Spyro Reignited Trilogy. Number four, I'm gonna have to go with Spider-Man. And number five, Monster Hunter World. All right. Uh, I was just gonna get top five. I don't know if you wanna go down yours at all. Didn't really have a lot this year, you know? Yeah. But yeah, I'd probably go... Because the problem is, I didn't really play a lot of new games this year. Yeah. So, my opinion is, I bought a bunch of them, but I just didn't get around to them. You'll, you'll get to them. Yeah. So, my opinion is pretty void on this subject. Why don't, but, we, uh, why don't we do a, a quick, quick... What are quick. you looking forward to the most for next year? That's, that's, what, what, I was, that's what I was going to say. Let's do a quick rundown of what we're looking forward to. Number one. Kingdom Hearts January. I knew you were going to say that. Three. I knew you were going to say that. Uh, number two, probably uh, Yoshi's Crafted Worlds. I'm, I'm looking. Generally speaking, I just want an up year from Nintendo. For, when compared to 2018. Well, 2017 was fantastic. 2018 was okay. So far, it looks like it might be because it looks like they, they have a lot they have more a, spread out. They have a lot in the pipeline yeah. that they've already showed off. Yoshi's Crafted Worlds looks amazing I, from I, what I've seen. I think it'll be fun. Yoshi platformers are typically pretty good. Typically. Yep. Definitely going to do that one for the channel. Uh, I don't think it'll be anything spectacular, but I think it'll be a good, solid platformer. Uh, Mr. Hello, uh, Wind Waker for that Zelda randomizer or for just general long play? Um, where was I? I got to uh, We were just talking about the 2019 games. Uh, 2019. Yeah, so Luigi's Mansion 3. Luigi's 3. I was here's about to here's say the that thing one. about that: is this is Luigi's Mansion 3 a sequel to Dark Luigi's Moon? Mansion, or is it a sequel to Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon? There's a big difference. One game is fantastic. The one other game, game is Dark Moon. One game, yeah. <laughs> one one game is not Luigi's Mansion. So, you know, that's another one. Cautiously optimistic in my mind. I hope it's good. I really want it to be good. But I just don't know. Uh, who'd we get? Dr. Mario. Dr. Mario. Oh, that's I one can, of yours. I can do that. Yeah, yeah, I know regular Mario. Cool. I imagine he's not much different. Yeah, it's funny that you brought up Wind Waker, because that was the Zelda game we're actually going to be playing a little bit after we're done with uh, the stream. We're going to do the uh, long play slash playthrough for that over the next several weeks. Uh, what do I think is better, Mr. Salt and Vinegars? I'd say Futurama is better than The Simpsons, in my opinion. I disagree strongly. It's just I like Futurama better. I've never watched it. Yep. I don't. I don't watch a lot of The Simpsons though either. So don't think my opinion. Is anything. Yeah. The problem is, uh, Futurama. It ended on a great note. Like I want more of it. Simpsons. It drug on. It's still dragging on. Yep. That's the problem. The early Simpsons I love. Later Simpsons not so much. Is it? bad that I've never played Wind Waker or Ocarina of Time. Well, it's bad that you never played Wind Waker. Ocarina of Time, I could take it or leave it, to be honest. I'd say, no, it's not bad that you haven't played either. The first time I ever played Ocarina of Time was, like, four years ago. Uh, the first time playing Wind Waker will be today. I never played Wind Waker before, so, uh... Dr. Mario's recovery is terrible. Okay, so yeah, I so barely, for this... I can barely see what I'm doing. For the stream, we're pretty much going to go until, what you say, 4.30? Sounds good to you? Sure. 
Yeah, we're gonna go till 4.30, so that's another, like, 45. Just have fun playing with you guys. We won't get very far in Wind Waker today. We'll just, like, just an hour and a half or so. Just getting started. I figured that would be good is just do a little bit of it versus dive deep because there's going to be, like, a couple weeks where we don't see so, each other. The one game I'm really looking forward to in 2019, Crash Team Racing. Ooh, that's going to be a good one. Coming remake. to Xbox One, PS4, and Nintendo Switch. So, hey, take your pick. I don't know what console I'm going to get it on. I'm leaning towards PS4. But um, if you're going to get it on Switch, and if Mitchell's going to get it on Switch, and... I might get that one on PS4. That's what I'm saying. I don't know. I don't know if Mitchell's getting it. We'll talk to him about it. We'll, I, we'll orchestrate it, probably. Yeah. Uh, will I get it on both? I guess that's a possibility. But, you know, it'd be fun to group up. And, you know, play some Crash Team Racing. D'Anthony Ogburn. Ogburn? Yeah, D'Anthony Ogburn. Hello. Here's Welcome to the chat. And uh, Mr. Salt Vinegar is also pumped for Crash Team Racing. Oh, yeah. yeah. I didn't play a lot of the original, but um, I love kart racers. So I know I'm going to like it. Which it's... is better, Majora's Mask or Ocarina of Time? Ocarina of Time. I've never even played Majora's Mask, but I can tell you, Ocarina of Time. Zelda games should never have a time limit. It's all about the exploration, and having a time limit severely handicaps that. But I want to see another game in the dark style of Majora's, just minus yeah, you the time do, limit. You the style. I, I don't have a problem with that. But I mean, so all future Zelda games should follow Breath of the Wild's lead. Improve upon it, of course. And put follow a time her. limit on for Breath of the Wild. Follow, follow Imagine her. Breath of the Wild with a time limit, how terrible well, that, that goes. Been. That goes from one of my favorite games ever made to one of the worst games ever made. <laughs> That's basically uh, here's, Majora's. Here's a question about 2019, though. Will we... Oh, we get to oh, play. Someone, someone backed out. Uh, Europe, I think. Will we get to play... I, I know I'm positive we will You're see this You're good with Donkey Kong, right? No. Oh, it was Mitchell who was good yeah. with Donkey Kong. I'm positive we will see I this game. I haven't played Majora's Mask myself. I'm, I'm positive we will see this game in 2019, but will we get to play it in 2019? Metroid Prime 4. Oh, yeah. Will will this will it release in 2019? Now, one game I'm curious about how it will be is uh, the new Fire Emblem, the Three Houses. What are they going to do with that one? Because I actually liked uh, Path of Radiance on the GameCube. It was long, but it was enjoyable. It was cool seeing them in that 3D back then when it was all flat otherwise. To me, Fire Emblem games, they're too repetitive, they're the same game every single time. I don't like that it comes down to R to RNG, like you could strategically do everything right and you still lose. So, you know, I doubt I'm going to get that game, but we'll see. Maybe they'll do something good. Yeah, for me, I'm going to buy one way or another because Fire Emblem games typically, especially the console ones, have been going up in value like crazy, so, you know, worst case. Buy it and to, leave it on. To open. answer my own question, though, I think we'll see Metroid Prime Four. I don't think it will release in 2019. Uh, I think 2020. We'll see. We'll see. I don't know. The other one would be a Bayonetta Three, where we haven't seen anything but it already got announced. That one, I'm confident. I think they'll come out. That one, I'm confident in saying we'll see, but it won't release. Think so? Again, I don't know. I just don't think so. I think it will. Seeing as how because we got a, we had a little bit of a video for it. Yeah. So I think they they were further along than Metroid Prime was. Because around the same time when that one got announced. Yeah. yeah. I know you're not getting that one. Yeah. You hate Bayonetta. Yeah, it sucks. It's Bayonetta is worse Devil May Cry. Part of the reason I want Dante in Smash, we can get better Bayonetta. So, I don't know. Just I'm just going on my intuition. I think Metroid Prime 4, no. And I think Bayonetta 3, no. Probably one of those games will release next year, but I, I don't I don't know. I just don't think either. The game I most want to see revealed in 2019, because remember, it was near completion back in 2015. Pikmin 4. That was near completion? That's what Miyamoto said. Like, a, a review, uh, an interview... Oh, with... we're forgetting the best one. Hmm. Animal Crossing. Oh, yeah, of course. Well, we, we would have gotten to that one eventually. I forgot about it. Yeah, you know, that's coming next year. I've played one Animal Crossing game, New Leaf. That was the best I'm, one. I'm sold. 
That's all I can say. I'm sold. I was always hesitant to try the series out. I'm in. I'm, I'm in on it. Let's go. Let's go. Animal Crossing Switch. Let's yeah, go. It's funny. Games that are the same series. Pretty much Fire Emblem and Animal Crossing. Yeah. Same thing, but it's still really enjoyable. Yep. Or Sims as well. It's like a better version of Sims. Yeah, Miyamoto in 2015, he was asked about Pikmin 4, and he said, Yeah, we, we wanted to help sell the Wii U. It's near completion. Still haven't seen a screenshot of it. I and bet you they'll do like a Pikmin trilogy yeah, remastered. It was, it was confirmed, by the way, that the game Miyamoto was talking about there was not Hey, hey, P hey Pikmin on 3DS. We don't speak of that game, by the way. But no, that was not the game he was talking about. He was talking about an actual sequel to Pikmin 3. Where now, is it? the question is, do you think they'll do a Metroid Prime trilogy on the Switch before you know, uh, 4? I think it would be a good idea. I think do, so too. To do it. Because it's been a while. I think release Prime Trilogy sometime, maybe in the middle to later half of 2019. And then Metroid Prime 4 in like the first half of 2018. Makes sense to me. Come on. Almost. The one rumored game that I really want to see, I really want it to be true, really want it to be a real game. What? Star Fox Grand Prix. I just want another F Zero. I would like that too. And we're supposedly going to see lesser use IP, so F Zero would be perfect. We were supposed to see that this year. Were we? Yeah. It was, like, late last year, a Nintendo employee, I forget who, it wasn't Reggie, it wasn't Bill Trinan, I, I don't know that who it was, but was asked, like, what we could expect from Nintendo in 2018, and his answer was, expect non-traditional IPs. We got nothing but traditional IPs. Well, Luigi's Mansion's, like, the first of that one. Yeah. I'd say. I mean, it didn't release this year. We said it was 2018 we could expect non-traditional IPs. We got Kirby, that's traditional. We got Mario Tennis, that's traditional. We got Pokemon, that's traditional. We got Smash, that's traditional. It, it was all traditional. It's like, where's this non-traditional stuff? I live for the non-traditional games. Where's Punch-Out? You know, oh, where's, where's Star Fox? I really Fox? want to punch out. I yeah. hope he wasn't referring to, like, Starlink as that non-traditional. Well, I mean, that also wasn't Nintendo. No, but it had the IP in it, so I'm hoping that wasn't the reference they were going off with. Yeah, but either way, when you say expect non-traditional IPs, let, let's give that. Let's give that to him. When you say you expect non-traditional IPs and we get one of them, that's a terrible answer. This is not true. This guy keeps running away. Come back here, you coward! Yeah, he's coward. So yeah, rumors started like in the middle of 2018 that Retro Studios was working on a game called Star Fox Grand Prix. It was supposed to be a racing game with the Star Fox crew where, you know, you can still shoot lasers with the R-Wings and stuff like that, and shooting enemies gives you, like, a speed boost or something. I really hate this guy camping so much. Ooh, oh, almost. Oh, well. He's, he's, he's scared. scared him. Scared him. Okay, uh, let's see what it said. I never understood why people love Animal Crossing. You gotta try playing it more, that's why. Okay, uh, Breath of the Wild or Shadow of the Colossus? Breath of the Wild. Not even close. Oh yeah, that came out this year. Shadow of the Colossus HD Remake on PS4. I can't believe I won with Donkey Kong. Ready? I never played the original Shadow of the Colossus. I did play the remake. I liked it. It was great. Um, I was good as Breath of the Wild. I'm Salt and Vinegar is always... Uh, the guy who posted questions said uh, Shadow of the Colossus. Uh, will we see 007 everything or nothing? Ganondorf. Oh man, GameCube. <laughs> GameCube peasants. Yeah. yeah just be careful right there. One thing I will say about Gandorf here is uh, I feel like I can't really like, combo with him anymore. Like I felt that way since uh, the GameCube was ended. I know one bread and butter combo that people always do is that move that you just did right there, side B into down tilt. Oh man, I missed. You know the move where you just yeah. put this foot? I mean, there's one you can practice. It seems easy enough. Well, it's always the uh, down A was my combo to up A. 
Oh, down smash and up smash? Yeah. Or, or up tilt? Um, up smash. Okay. Because it's like that kick. Basically, it works beautiful still on uh, Captain Falcon, but... Oh, another Nintendo game we know of for 2019. The core Pokemon RPG. Oh, yes. Gen, Gen 8. I hope it takes some cues from from Let's Go. Oh. I hope it takes some cues from Let's Go, and I hope it also stays true to some of the stuff in all the uh, traditional RPGs before Let's Go. Yeah, I want wild battles back. Um, I love. I like having the option to throw the Pokeball to catch the Pokemon. I like having the ability to keep a Pokemon outside of the Pokeball and have it follow you around. Yeah. I still want to get rid or I like how there's no random encounters. What I a, love that. One of the things we've agreed upon in the past about um, Pokemon, it needs a shake-up. It, it, they, they, all the Pokemon games are starting to feel the same. And so that's a franchise that needs a shake-up. I don't know how you shake it up, but somehow you gotta do it. Same with Kirby, but, you know, what, do you, what can you do? I'm so dead. Oh, GameCube is the most video game sounding title for a console. Okay. If you say so, sir. Used I lesser used IP say Final Fantasy. I, I mean that's Square Enix. Yeah, so that's another thing we should talk about. Do you think we'll get better uh, Nintendo Square Enix relationships to this console? Do you think they'll come out with more original you know, games? They already did with Octopath Traveler, but will I, there be more than that? I have a lot of hope. Because I, I said this on previous live stream, my... Like, really, if I could... If I had one wish in this world, it would be a true sequel to Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars. And after the success of Octopath Traveler, Square Enix did say they are interested in bringing back older series onto Nintendo Switch. So, you know, I'm screaming at my computer screen, Super Mario RPG 2! Super Mario RPG 2! So, I, I hope we get more Nintendo Square Enix, you know, matchups. Ugh, Dark Samus. You thought we would... Wait, what did you mean then for FF? Oh, Fossil Fighters. Oh. Three. Is, isn't that dead? One! When was the last time a Fossil Fighters game came out? I don't know, but uh, Mr. L loves talking about Fossil Fighters. It's like oh yeah, one of his you're that, games. Oh yeah, you're that guy. Sorry, uh, dude, I don't know. You and your you and your Fossil Fighters. But that did give us a good segue into Square Enix discussion. So yeah, I love this map for Four Side. It's so amazing. Square Enix. I think Tomb Raider 2013 is the best Tomb Raider game to date. Never played a Tomb Raider game. I played Uncharted, which is better Tomb Raider. But. Uncharted 4 is the one we're, is the game oh. we're gonna do in 2019 for sure. So. Oh, yes, indeed. You're Dark Samus. Yep. I hate Dark Samus. I hate Samus. Okay. Um, what else? What are some other games? What about the 007 long play? Uh, so far I've done three 007 long plays. I've done Goldeneye on the N64. I've done. Uh, the world is not enough on PS1, and I've also done 007 Nightfire on GameCube. Uh, if more of those took off, I would have done more 007 long plays. But uh, since those are like three of the most popular 007 games, and they didn't really take off, I didn't really see a point of me using a lot of time doing other 007 games. Though I will someday in the future. I was just taking a break from since doing three so close to each other didn't really seem to yield any good results for my viewers. Beautiful JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. <laughs> what? Beautiful JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Or something? I don't know. Yeah. So, if you are a fan of 007 games, those are the three I have that you can actually watch right now if you want to. Um, and just a note for any of you guys who are wondering why there's 
two videos for every video I've been posting. One of those is a playthrough, the other one's a long play. Uh, the reason for that is playthroughs have commentary, long plays don't have commentary, so I know some people are like, eh, it's, I prefer people talking while other people like me prefer watching videos without people talking in them. So, yeah, I provide both options now. I just love this map so much, just the attention to detail. Like, look at it, even got the name of the building on here so much better than on GameCube. And there's Porky's helicopter. Yep. Doing well, that was in the map. original as well. Granted, we're doing terrible because we're playing characters we don't know. I, I'm just looking at this level, it just looks so gorgeous. Especially in HD. Yeah. It's basically how I felt with Fountain of Dreams. They finally brought that back. Like, this was my favorite map to play on back then in GameCube, but now it's like, it's so much better looking. Like, it wasn't a great map, fighting-wise, I just love the look of it. Yeah, totally. The aesthetics. The first Uncharted is slightly overrated, like Nate comes off as a douche in the beginning. How did Elena get to the island, and did Roman just take Soli's body after he shot? But it's still an amazing game. Thoughts on that? What? I don't know what he's talking about. Uh, he called Nate a douche. Well, yeah, that's kind of like the point. He was a douche who became like a family man. Are we getting stuttering on the stream? Ah, uh, no, no, that's okay. normal. Yeah, he became like a family man and actually like a somewhat, yeah, you know, respectable person. It was like a four-game arc. He started out as an a-hole and became, you know... See, it's perfect right here. Okay. The reason, remember that new recorder I got that was giving us problems earlier? It's because my internet just can't yeah. keep up with that one, apparently. But that one gives us instant feedback, so I switched to my old one that doesn't give you instant. Yeah. How did Elena get to the island? I don't know. Who cares? Yep. But we will be it's doing Uncharted 4 next year. Because I mean, you want, to say, you want to say it's overrated. That's fine. I still think it's fantastic. I'd give the game, like, if you want me to score the game out of a 10, I'd give it, like, an 8.5. I think the other games are better, uh, except for Uncharted 3. I thought that one was worse. All right. Um... Uh, one more thing, uh, just remember to, uh, the question to earn the 20 bucks is what again, Brent? Make sure to say it so, so they can understand it. If we're discussing the Krabby Patty formula on the first Sunday in January, after we've gargled vanilla pudding, what do we do? You guys have a total of 24 more minutes before we shut down the stream, so I'd say probably about 20 minutes so we can announce a winner right before 4.30. Sure. Yep. So far, Tygo Kid had the best answer. Undoubtedly. Yep. So, Tiger Kid's in the running for the winnings right now, so... $20 eShop card. Good luck beating that. He has a pretty solid answer. You know, I'm not going to tell you how to spend that $20, whoever ends up winning it, but... Oh, yes. What would you spend it on? Um, well, my recommendations, if you have uh, Mario and Rabbids Kingdom Battle, I recommend the DLC, Donkey Kong Adventure. Um, if you're looking for... A downloadable game, you can't go wrong with Hollow Knight, or The Messenger, or Shovel Knight, if you can play Shovel Knight. Could even buy like four out of the five characters for that uh, Fighter Pass. Yeah, if you care so much. I'm not holding out a lot of hope for the Fighter Pass, but... Yep. You know, if they're characters you like, good for you. Could get a, if you like uh, RPGs, Golf Story. Golf Story's good, yes. Uh, one game I don't have, but I want to get at some point in time, it's called Windjammers. Ah. It's like one of the best arcade games ever. Real competitive. It's like it's kind of like air hockey, but more arcade style. So yeah, that's some of my recommendations. But you know, do whatever you want with it. All right, we got a whatever, dude. It's your money. We got two more answers that came in right now from that. Read we got a. Uh, you give me the formula. You know, ravioli. Ravioli, ravioli. ravioli, ravioli give me the formula. And. Deep fry it in the car oil ten times. Huh? Deep fry it in car oil ten times. In a, in a what? In car oil. Car oil? Yeah. Oh, okay. So, um, Do you, buddy. What do you think? Who's winning so far? I think, uh... What's the guy's name? Tygo Kid? Tygo Go? Go? Or Tygo Kid, sorry. Whatever. Tygo Kid. Tygo Kid has still got it. Yep. And, and keep, uh, guys, keep trying. I, we never specified you only get one answer. Yep. Did we? Uh, we? Keep trying. Well, we'll say each time we tell someone that they're not, it's not good enough. 
then they can submit again. Okay. But for Taigo Kid... Taigo Kid, he has to stay until he's been one out. Yep. Exactly. That's the rules for this contest. Not bad for a free giveaway, right? Yeah. Don't even have to be a subscriber, though. We hope we uh, get your subscription for it. Um, Mr. LOL says Metal Gear Solid. What do you think? I actually played through that for the first time this year, the original one. And uh, I really liked it. I'd certainly be okay with doing it on the channel. Yeah, I know uh, my buddy Nick wants to also do it. Though you will be doing the uh, torture scene. <laughs> I won't be. I already did it once. Everybody should experience that. Oh boy. Yay. I had blisters on two of my fingers. And the other question was, uh, was Foresight a level from the N64 version? No, Foresight was a level from Melee. Uh, the one you're thinking of is Saffron City, probably. I thought he was talking about it wasn't from Earthbound 64. I was going to be like, that doesn't oh. exist. Well, yeah, if you're talking about that, then you're thinking of Earthbound. Mother 3, which was originally released for the N6, or was originally was supposed going to be, to be on for the 64, I think, the disc drive. But, yeah, uh, and it was scrapped and moved to Game Boy Advance. Not because of the problems with the disc drive failing, it was because the developer team did not know how to do the 3D space. So it got switched to a 16-bit game, after, or 32-bit game. Six, 16. Game, game, I think Game Boy Advance was... 16. Was Game Boy Advance 16? Same as NES. I thought right. it was 32. Maybe it was 32. I don't know. Okay. Yeah, probably 32. Whatever. It got switched to the Game Boy. It was easier for the development team after being in, like, years of development hell. Yeah, four sides from Earthbound on the SNES. Uh, the level in this game is from Halo. Yep. Even we've covered, Which was based on the SNES. We've covered both bases. Yep. The music in Smash is perfect, but what, what's the worst genre of music for me? Either any form of emo... I almost heard that as emu. <laughs> and heavy metal. Good for you. I think rap is my worst. Yeah, ditto. Ditto. This is funny, because I played on the uh, basketball team in high school, and if you know basketball, you know like rap and basketball are synonymous with each other. So I had to listen to a lot of rap. I don't know how I did it. Yeah, you did it. Somehow I survived without ripping my ears off. Have you ever tried playing with the Pro Patrol yet? No. You should. It's you know. Ooh, oh, Pokemon trainer. This is gonna be fun. Wait, you know how, whenever a new Street Fighter game comes out, why are we still here? Uh, the reason why we're still here is because the earlier streams we did just had a disaster. Yeah, we had a couple screw ups. So we decided to just push it back later. One, go! Unless you're talking about real life, then it's so you can watch a stream. That's the whole purpose of your life. Your purpose is to pass butter. What was I getting at though before that? Lost my train of thought. Yeah. So yeah, Mr. LL, we don't know about the rest of us, but your purpose is to pass the butter. Ten brownie points if you get that answer. Or realize what that means. I'm gonna take half from away just for the hell of it. Are you looking at the chats now? Yeah. Oh, Squirtle is very vocal here. Oh, no! Ah, Squirrel's recovery is terrible. Um, you know, we'll play as each one of these Pokemon, not switch them for these lives. Therefore, you get to see them all. Hey, look, the glider. The king. Spoiler alert. Come on, it's how many years old now? Almost two. Hard to believe. I never did do the DLC because I was just so burnt out over it. For good reason. Yeah, I'd recommend it. It probably gives you another 5 to 10 hours of playtime. I thought you were supposed to be encouraging me to play it. <laughs> well, it depends on how much you liked it. For me, that was good enough. Give me more Breath of the Wild. Personally, that's something I want to see this next year. I want to see a new Zelda game announced. Not released. Announced. I agree with a new Mario game announcement be as well. Yeah. For the, uh, what, I think what I want for the next Zelda game, I don't think they need to go and restart everything. Use the Breath of the Wild engine and make a sequel. Built from the ground up for the Switch. That's what I think they should do. I'd also like to see a, a remake of some sort. Not necessarily Skyward Sword. They're 
been rumors of a Link's Awakening remake. And uh, I'm I lost. I'm totally cool with a Link's Awakening remake. I think that would be great. There's, you know, been rumors of the Skyward Sword remake. I'd be fine with that too, but I think I'd prefer the Link's Awakening remake. That was Smash, right? Uh, Game Boy. No, that was Link to the Past. Game Boy. Yeah, one of the questions from, uh, oh, let's see if you can name this. You know, they have those little, like, things that pop up every now and then, all the trivia questions. Mm -hmm. Here's your question. There are five games with Link in its name from Legend of Zelda. What are they? Link to the Past, Link Between Worlds, Link's Awakening, Link's Crossbow Training. Zelda 2, The Adventure of Link. Good job. See, the one I forgot was Link's Crossbow Training. Does Link's Crossbow Training really count, though? I mean, let's be honest, that wasn't a game, that was a tech demo for the Wii Zapper. Yeah, when I was trying to do that, I couldn't name them all. I forgot about Link's Crossbow Training completely. I have no idea how I remembered that. Never played it. Oh, I think we're out. We are. I can guarantee we're out. Yeah. Oh well. No, oh, well, that gives you a Q&A. We're here for this next match, guys. Got a question? Let it fly. Lightning round. Not many people left. <laughs> I mean, uh, so he says modern hip hop is trash with exceptions, but most mainstream has no quality. I agree. I can feel my leg and my arm, even in my finger. You see, that's, that's a good thing. That means you're alive. Yep. And you want cheese pizza? Huh? Uh, my parents just asked me if you want pizza. Uh, that's, that's fine with me, sure. You guys want some? Whoa, what? We're in? Oh, we were, but hurry, I didn't notice. Hurry, move! It. Hurry, dragon, quick! Ah! Oh. We don't even get to spectate. Oh well, we're planning on Q and A anyway, so you guys get that. We're men of our words. Okay, uh, it's a meme from Message Five. Look it up. It's funny as hell. We'll be the judge of that. Bloody tears. That's the way I'd go on. I do have a running theme. Do punch out. That's what I feel like. Sure. Where is it? Left. Oh, but we could have done Street Fighter music as well. Oh, yeah. Jogging. There we go. Okay, guys. We'll ask you this question. For Mr. Ellwell and Mr. Salts and Vinegar. Um... We want to do a Smash Bros. video. Who do you want to see us dress up as? He's obviously going to be Link. Where am I going to get that costume? Though? Well, you already have the uh, shield and sword. The body I lost, comrades, I lost. It's like it's still there. He's dying. He's hanging on, but he's dying. Well, thank you for spending your final moments in this stream. We'll miss you a little bit. We don't know you, but... Some more than others. <laughs> the comrades. Wii Fit Trainer. Comrades? He's a commie. Never <laughs> mind. We ain't gonna miss you at all. This a light game. Hi, Hila Malalila. Sorry for uh, completely butchering that. Yeah. Feel it too, don't you? We really don't. We, we really don't. That, that's all you, dude. I'm the one who caught up with Cypher. <laughs> Cypher? I feel like he's talking about Metal Gear now. I will be playing your game, brother. Oh, um... Yeah, once again, the uh, code is... L-Y-4-Y-F. I think there might be I think a the lobby. I think the lobby's full. We have, oh, it's only we six. have six. Okay. He might already be in here. He might be. Zap Brand again. Ha <laughs> ha, Futurama. Didn't catch that. Okay. But, uh, yeah, so which characters do you want to see? Personally, I think We Fit Trainers. No one would really tune in for that. What was the question? Uh, like when we do our eventual Smash Bros. grunts, my games are just a fighting video in general for the editing. Oh, yeah. yeah I'm yeah. thinking about going, like, we have a little Mac costume, so we can do that. Link. Uh, but we still want to make some extra costumes and bring some more people in. 
So I'm thinking for me, maybe Captain, Fal uh, Captain Falcon. I think it'd be really awesome to do like a Falcon punch in the video. We gotta get Mitchell in there. Who would Mitchell be? Who would be good for Mitchell? I think like maybe Mega Man. That could work. That would be a fun one to do editing for. Hey Mitchell, how would you feel about being Lucina? I'm just kidding. He plays as Lucina a lot in Smash 4. He'd probably be a good Mario, I think. Oh yeah, that could work. Sure I mean, that's an easy costume to get a hold of, too. Yeah. Oh, and I was thinking about like putting Roxy in the video, just strapping a duck to her back. Yeah. <laughs> just have her walking by like... Get him, duck hot dog. She just <gasps> oh, away. no, that was my plan for Mitchell originally. You know, Mitchell, we have him be like the trolley guy in our videos. Mm-hmm. I was going to have him buy like, or get like one of those $40 Falcon costumes. Mm hmm You know, from Marvel Avengers, the Falcon. Yeah. So then he comes in. All right, guys, I'm ready. Oh, Mitchell, come on. We said Captain Falcon. Yeah, I am Captain Falcon. No, the one for Smash Bros, not the one for Marvel. I yeah, said this is Smash Bros, not Marvel versus Capcom. Come back with a new costume, and he just keeps coming back with wrong ones. Yeah. Throughout the whole video. Just something trolly like that. Speaking of which, Mitchell texted me, I finally got the SNES Classic. The DKC minecart level was making me mad. Eh, yeah, well... That game yeah. is fantastic. Get over it. Yes, yes. I wonder how long it'll take them to realize what it is. A group of above nations, even the U.S. That one went above my head. All right, here we go. Uh, was it you or me next? Brent. I don't remember. Well, I mean, we go by the character anyway. Sure. Okay, guys, just remember, uh, five minutes left before we announce the winner of the, uh question to get the $20 switch certificate and right now uh, typo or Tygo uh, kid Corin is Corin. winning and uh, the question was uh, if we're discussing the secret Krabby Patty formula on the first Sunday of January after we gargled vanilla pudding what do we do I'm all screwed up on the buttons. I don't play with the Pro Controller. I swear, if I win this, it shows you just how OP Corn is. I hate versing Corn so much. Like, it's one of the cheapest characters in the game, I swear. Why are we still here just to suffer? I can feel my leg and my arm, even my fingers, the body I lost, comrades I lost. I'm like they're still here. I'm the one who got caught up with the cipher. Watch Terminal Montage. Jeremy, I have seen Terminal Montage's uh, stuff. You've seen some of it as well. Have I? He does No Pun Nintendo. Oh, I love No Pun Nintendo. Yeah, I've seen his other stuff, like, you know, Mario 64 speed runs, uh, something about Luigi's Mansion, something about Castlevania. I've seen all those. He's a big Geno supporter for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, just like me, so we have that in common, you know. I like the guy. He's got a good channel, he does quality work. He's not a shill. Well, I'm pretty sure Mr. LOL was quoting Metal Gear stuff there. I don't know. I'm just curious who Cypher is. Which Mr. Cypher? LOL, is it possible to fall in love on the battlefield? No, but it is on Final Destination. Zing! I'm dead. Oh! Still alive. Deep, beat it. Still alive. Now I'm dead. Alright, so I say the next one's the final match. Okay. I think that's a good way to end it. 
We've had a pretty long if, stream here. If we're even in the match. Oh yeah. We might be out. One final match where we're playing. Okay. Is what I'll say. If that's the case, I guess I'm up since you did the last two. I'm just yeah. gonna change it. I did do the last two. I'm, I'm, yeah. Okay. I'm pretty sure you played the one before this. Well, we'll see. I would have played this one, but I can't play with the Pro yeah. Controller. We'll see how the order is, you know? Yeah. I was gonna say, I'd like to change it to a character I can actually play. Well, we're out regardless. Yeah. It's loading. Mm. Yeah. There you go. Choose your fighter. We're on your setting at least. <laughs> Final battle, King K. Roll. Starts and ends with him. I'm. I'm the best with K. Rule, personally. I've, I've, you know, I've, I've played as him in this game more than I have any other character. I want to play more as Simon Belmont, but K. Rule's the guy I've been sticking with. So yeah, I'll pull him out. All right. So, uh, 425. Out of all the answers, who would you say won? I mean, Mister, what's his name, Tygo Kid or whatever. Yep. So say the question one last time, and I'll say the answer. So we announce the winner. Are we announcing the winner now? or We're after? announcing the winner now. Okay, the question is slash was. We'll give you guys one final minute. The question is, if we're discussing the secret Krabby Patty formula on the first Sunday in January after we've gargled vanilla pudding, what do we do? And because we did say 425, so the saying turns to 426, we will say it. No, you need to go to Tormentor Island. I don't think that's a good answer for that one. I don't think that's what he was getting at there. I don't know what that means. Ask the Magic Conch what to do. Ooh, that's a decent uh, last one. Magic Conch Shell, what do we do? That was your cue. Brent chooses the answer. Dang it. All hail the Magic Conch. All right, what's the answer, Brent? Who won? I think uh, Tygo Kid or whatever his name was. You get the best answer. All right, the best answer is we'll see you have to go to, or well, see you have to go to Victory Screech while serving Bubble Bass, a double, triple, bossy deluxe on a raft, 4x4 animal style, extra shingles with a shimmy and a squeeze, light axle grease, make it cry, burn it, and let it swim. This can only be done on Leaf Erickson Day while being in an anti sea bear circle wearing your anti sea rhinoceros undergarments. For the record, we serve food here. There's only it says there's only three people in chat and he's not here. Yep. No, we still announced him as the winner though. Okay. So I mean I guess you'll try to get in contact with yeah. him and make it happen. But if not, you know, we'll save it for the next live stream where we will have a different question for you guys to answer and I guess give it out then. Yep. The uh, we might just unless unless you want to pick a second a unless you want to pick a second if you want to pick a second third place. All right, if you want to do a second place, if they don't answer within a week, I pick the first place. You get to pick second place. No, that's all you. No, that's you. No, no. All right, first place only. No. Okay, it's his fault, guys. All right. And I will post it on the community board as well so they can see it. I really wish that you could just view it afterwards anyways, you know? Okay, uh, let's just post it. Uh, feel free to ask us any final questions before this last match. Because this will be the final match that we do today. Anything? You can ask us anything. Gaming questions, personal questions, advice. Might not want to take our advice, but we'll give it to you. Dell or Mac? 
I'm an HP. Uh, I'm I've definitely only, HP. In my, in my family, we've only ever owned Mac computers since I was born, so... I mean, I've used PCs, like, you know, in high school and stuff like that, yeah. but... Uh, Mac for me over Dell. Tygo Kid is still here. He is? I'm still here. Hey, we just haven't heard from you in a while. Yeah, Tygo Kid, we have selected your answer as the winner of the $20 eShop card. So congrats. He is going to try and get in touch with you and you are going to get $20 eShop credit. GameCube or Wii? Ooh, that's a tough one. I'm GameCube. I think I am as well. It's because motion controls ultimately. Yes. I mean, the Wii, I think GameCube overall was better. But when you got good games on the Wii, I thought the good games on the Wii were better than the good games on the GameCube. Three, Namely, Mario Galaxy. One. That's a tough one, though. Like, I'm saying GameCube now. Ask me in five minutes, I might have something different. Hi. But uh, let me get back to the thing. I was just congratulating Tyro Kid for the whole much games community to see. Um, where's the live stream? Gotta go back there. There we go. Uh, he's at a restaurant and need Wi Fi. Gotcha. Yeah, but, uh, better question. NES, SNES, or N64? SNES, not even close. To, for me, not even close. Oh. If I had to put them in order, SNES, number one, NES, number two, N64, number three. And that is, like, very easy for me. And, uh, Tygo Kid, uh, be sure to send me an, because I don't think they have private messages anymore on, uh, YouTube, so make sure to send me an email. And, uh, with a screenshot of the chat so I know it's actually you and not someone else trying to uh, jip your uh, reward. And I will get it to you. Yeah, so the email can be found on my uh, profile under business inquiries. But uh, yeah, so make sure to send me an email for that so you get your reward with that screenshot showing like the chat therefore I can see hey it's actually you does that make sense what I just said? yep so, okay, it's to uh, me at least make sure that uh, that makes sense yeah once again it's tbmutch at aol.com I'm about to get they totally ganged up for a bit, but you can, all can, oh yeah, I can do it on Twitter as well, I guess. I don't really use Twitter, but uh, yeah, I can do that. Yeah, I don't think the private messages still work, but I'll double check there. But uh, if that doesn't work, yeah, the Twitter could be a viable option. I will try to do that one. I just don't really use Twitter, but uh, I can hunt that down, try to find you. Well, uh, thank you all for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this. It went a little bit rough in the beginning with the multiple restarts and everything due to one reason or another. 
What can it you happens. Do? We hope we hope we made it up for you. You know. What, what but can uh, do? we hope to do more of these streams in the future with different games thrown in the mix. Uh, ooh, this is gonna suck for them. Yep, but uh, and hopefully more uh, giveaways as well. Like I still have a Super Mario Sunshine game to give away, as well as an Epic Mickey uh, 2 to give away on the Wii. So, got a couple of games to give away. He's so. also going to be giving away his prized copy of Earthbound Authentic on SNES. So the first person who answers this question correctly, what is 2 plus 2? 4. I win. Nope, nope. I got it's it. It's only no, subscribers. No, I'm not giving that away. It's only subscribers. Quick, I made a second count subscribe. <laughs> Well, anyways, thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye. And no, I'm not going to wear it bound. Yes, he is.